Ford as a futuristic policeman out to capture a robot in Blade Runner. One of four new movies we'll be reviewing on sneak previews. Across the aisle from me, Roger Ebert, film critic for the Chicago Sun-Times. This is Gene Siskel, film critic for the Chicago Tribune. Our next film is Blade Runner, a big-budget science fiction fantasy. It's also ambitious. It creates a futuristic Los Angeles in the year 2020 as the setting for a story about cops and robots. <laughs> Harrison Ford stars as the cop. His assignment is to track down a group of replicants who have escaped from off-world. They're hiding out in Los Angeles. Well, what is a replicant? It's an android or artificial man or woman that looks and sounds absolutely realistic, but isn't. In the world of the future, replicants are slaves, forbidden to visit Earth, and uh, they, when they come to Los Angeles, the cops go looking for them. In this scene, Harrison Ford begins to suspect that the woman he's attracted to may be more or less than human. I drop music. You play beautifully. That's an actress named Sean Young as the woman who may or may not be a replicant. Right. This movie goes, what do you mean, may or may not? Well, I yeah, don't want to, you guessed it? Yeah, no kidding. Okay, fine. This movie goes through some pretty predictable paces about their forbidden love, but I was never really very interested in the characters in Blade Runner. I didn't find it convincing. Instead, what impressed me in this film were the special effects, the wonderful use of optical trickery to show me a gigantic imaginary Los Angeles, which in the vision of this movie has been turned into sort of a futuristic Tokyo. Here's a scene where Harrison Ford zips over the streets of L.A. in a squad car of the future. The charmer's name was Gaff. I'd seen him around. Brian must have upped him to the Blade Runner unit. That gibberish he talked was city speak, gutter talk, a mishmash of Japanese, Spanish, German, what have you. I didn't really need a translator. I knew the lingo every good cop did. But I wasn't going to make it easier for him. landing 
threshold. The special effects there were designed by a team led by Douglas Trumbull, who created the visuals for 2001 and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. He doesn't stop with flying squad cars and towering skyscrapers. He imagines all the details of life in the year 2020, right down to what the noodles will look like in a Japanese restaurant. They look just like noodles do today. Yeah, about, half creative, yeah. <laughs> about halfway through Blade Runner, I realized I stopped caring about the people in the movie. I was interested mostly in the special effects. It's a great movie to look at, but a hard one to care about. I didn't appreciate the predictable story, the standard characters, the cliffhanging cliches, but I do think the special effects make Blade Runner worth going to see. I agree with part of your review. Predictable, cliches. <laughs> what about the special effects? Dazzling for the first 20 minutes, and then what? I mean, the story goes no place, as far as I'm concerned. I invested a lot of energy in this movie watching it because it was so striking looking. And Harrison Ford is a, an attractive actor, and he does care, take us through any adventure that he's in. But I'm sitting there halfway through the picture saying, where is this going? And when it's over, I think I've wasted my time. I, I admire the special effects, but Roger, there are a lot of people in, in this country and in England who can do this quality of special effects. So I don't there think... There are not a lot of people who can well, do this quality. Well, a handful. Quality. What I'm saying is that Five they, or six. they in and of themselves, mm -hmm. they are that in and of themselves, doesn't uh, make it a, a film well, worth trying, going to see. I'm trying to get Blade Runner a pretty specific review. I didn't believe in the story. I didn't care about the characters. Okay. On the other hand, to look at the film, the, the set decoration, the design, the visual yeah, this conception done, of this it was Los done, Angeles didn't get tired for me in 20 okay, minutes. Okay. I felt as if I were being shown a world I hadn't seen before. It was done by Ridley Scott, who made a similarly attractive looking film, an alien, but at least they had a conventional pull ahead, uh, pull you through the picture story there, a horror film. This film, I say, I think is a waste of time. Pretty to look at, but a waste of time.